When you have to rig a water bottle for your hamster, couldn't make it fit in the 20 gallon lawn. Yeah, hi Silver Bell. So I put it on a box and inside the box are two fairly heavy jars that I don't use. So yeah, that's what I did. And now, you're going to start chewing the box and destroying it, aren't you? <laughs> I don't know what else to do. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't know what else to do, Silver Bell. But you need water. Yeah, yeah. Oh, good. That's still going. Okay. <laughs> the things you got to do. You know, I, I know a 20-gallon long is a much better environment for her. Than if I ran to PetSmart, which I still might do, and get one of those hamster cages that has a built-in water bottle just in case this fails. Because I don't want her getting sick. But I hate those hamster cages. I know they're not ideal. I know this is the best thing. Especially with little dwarf hamsters. Hi! You like that food, don't you? Yes, you do! Hi! <laughs> oh, I tell you, I get so anxious when something's gone wrong with my pets. It's just, plus I saw Rudy scratching his ears like crazy, so I made an appointment for him on Wednesday at Dr. Gary's clinic. So, just to make sure there's nothing, there's no ear infection or anything like that. Yeah? You are just something else. Yes, you are. All right, okay, okay. Can I chew this part? Can I chew this part? Amazingly, this is the box I brought her home in from Marineland, so. Yeah, well, I'd really appreciate it if you don't chew the box, which I know I'm just being ridiculous, but <sighs> obviously hamsters chew. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> paw prayers.